This evaluation of limits can be broadly classified into five categories. The first one is evaluation of algebraic limits when the function is of some algebraic form. The second one is trigonometric limits where you have trigonometric functions and you have been asked to evaluate those limits. Then you have logarithmic limits as is obvious it deals with logarithms. Then you have exponential limits. And finally, you have something called miscellaneous form. Now, this miscellaneous form is concerned with expressions or functions which doesn't fall in either of these four categories. Like if you have a function which has a term of like box function, mod function, or it is a combination of these two, those we keep under this category of miscellaneous form. So first let's start with algebraic limits, how to evaluate algebraic limits. Now before we move on to algebraic limits, we need to understand a very important rule that is known as the L hospitals rule. So now let's discuss what L hospitals rule is. Let's say I have a function h of x given by fx divided by g of x and I have been asked to find the limiting value of this function as x approaches a. Now let's say it happens that when I put a to these expressions, when I put a f of a and g by a, then the function is taking value like 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, these two types. So in this case when the function is taking either 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form only then this rule is applicable. Now let's understand what the, this rule says. The rule says that if I have an expression like fx by gs which takes 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form at x equals to a then what I can do is I can differentiate the numerator and denominator separately. and keep doing that until the indeterminate form of 0 by 0 and infinity by infinity is removed. So what I'll do is I'll just differentiate this, I'll put x equals to a and I'll check the value of this expression. If this is a finite number, this is not of the form 0 by 0 and infinity by infinity, then well and fine. If this again takes an indeterminate form, I'll again differentiate this. Again, I'll put x equals to a. Again, check for the value. If it's a finite or infinite number, if then it's fine. But if it again takes indeterminate form, I'll again continue this. I'll keep this doing until I get rid of the indeterminate form. And at, when I get rid of the indeterminate form, the limiting value of the expression becomes the limit. So this is what L hospital rule says. Now let's move on to our topic. Main topic is, that is algebraic limits. Let's first take the case when the function or the algebraic expression takes the form 0 by 0. Let's take an example. Let's say I have been asked to find this. This is a 0 by 0 form. So let's first discuss this using L hospitals rule how to solve this. This is a 0 by 0 form. We'll differentiate the numerator and denom denominator separately. So I differentiated the numerator didn't have to differentiate the denominator. I'll put x equals to 1. This is taking a value of minus 1. So the limit value is minus 1. The other approach could be the factorization method. In factorization method, what I'll do is I'll just separate out the factors of this numerator and denominator. The numerator factors are x minus 1 and x minus 2 and the denominator is x minus 1. Now here yes, again you can see that since I'm approaching 1, I'm not saying that x is equal to 1, so I can cancel these two factors, so I'll get x minus 2. Now, here I have to put a value of x which is close to 1, like this, 
so this becomes minus 1 plus minus h now since h is a very small quantity approaching 0 this becomes minus 1 i could have directly put x equals to 1 here to find this part i just put plus minus h to show you that actually we are concerned with the neighborhood of 1 we are not concerned with exactly at 1 we are concerned with the neighborhood of 1 Let's take a bit trickier question in this. Let's say I have asked you to evaluate this limit. The first thing you can do is just put x equals to 1. When you put x equals to 1, you see that this is 0, this is 0, and this is 1, this is minus 1. So, both of these get cancelled. So, in the numerator, you have a 0. Denominator, again, you have a 0. So, it takes 0 by 0 form. So, to solve this question, you could have used the L hospitals rule. But you see, uh, you have a log x term here, you have x cube, you have x square, you have a product. So, differentiating becomes a bit tougher. Let's look for something simpler. Let's factorize this expression. Let's separate the log x part and the rest part separate. So when I separate the log x part, I get something like this on the numerator and the, on the denominator, I will get this. Now let's take the factor of x minus 1 as common. Okay. Now you see that I can cancel this too. Now if you put x equals to 1, this gets cancelled, this is 0 actually, and this is 3 here, this is 2 here, so the answer is 3 by 2, okay, this, so this was the second example, now let us say I have an expression which has terms like square root and all, in that case when you have expressions which have square root terms, we go for rationalization first, let us say I have been asked to evaluate this limit as h approaches 0. Here you see that if I put h as 0, this again takes 0 by 0 form. So again, we can use the L hospitals rule or we can factorize this or we can rationalize this. So let us first start with L hospitals rule. For L hospitals rule, I need to differentiate the numerator and the denominator with respect to h. So the denominator, if I differentiate with respect to h, I will get 1. And the numerator, if I differentiate with respect to h, I will get 1 by 2 root of plus h. Now, I put h equals to 0, so I will get the answer as 1 by 2 root x. This was using L hospitals rule. Now, let us rationalize this, so as to get rid of square root sign on the numerator. So, when I multiply this with root x plus h plus root x, on the numerator, I will get 1 plus x plus h minus x by h and on the denominator, I will get x plus h plus root of x. Okay. So, now if I put x equals to h equals to 0, so I will get this expression. Okay. So, this is how we rationalize expressions and then find the limit. Let us Let us take another example, but now let us take a bit trickier question. 